It feels so good to be back, doesn't it? It just feels right. All right, so let's hack this mask. Today we're hacking the Lush Rosy Cheeks Face Mask. I have some feelings about Lush. Um, they've been around since I was in high school. They make some very good products. They do use some great ingredients, but in my opinion, they're guilty of a little bit of greenwashing. I'm not gonna go into that today. Let's just hack their mask. I happen to love their face masks. A lot of them have really good ingredients, um, but I do plan on hacking quite a few of them. The thing about Lush face masks is when you purchase them from the store, and I think you have to purchase them from the store, they are stored in the refrigerator, they're only good for a certain amount of time, they're very cold and soothing to the face, um, and like I said, they do use a lot of really good ingredients in their face masks. But hacking masks is fun and hopefully more affordable, and um, yeah, so let's jump right in. The other reason to hack a mask too sometimes is to eliminate the ingredients that you don't want and up the amount of ingredients that you do want. The ingredients in this mask are glycerin, kaolin, fresh rose petals infusions, calamine powder, rose clay, fragrance, rose oil, benzol alcohol, citronelle, and lilal. So let's talk about the function of this mask. It is a soothing, hydrating, calming mask. They've put in things like glycerin, which is a humectant. I chose to make this mask without honey. However, if you wanted to up the moisturizing, soothing properties, you could also add in a half a teaspoon of honey. They have kaolin clay as well as rose clay in here. We're gonna use just rose clay. They have fresh rose petals infusion, we're going to be using a powdered rose. They have colamine powder. I don't have any of that and I looked into getting it and it's quite expensive and I chose to use oat flour instead. Oat flour is easily accessible for anyone. I don't think any of, any of you wanna go out and spend a uh, $20 on a pound of calamine powder. Let's just be honest here. We're keeping this mask on for 15 minutes and I think oat flour is a very um, good substitute. Another good substitute would be quinoa flour. So let's move on. Rose oil. I don't have rose oil, but if you had an oil with rose roses in it or rose essential oil in it, I think that would be a very fine substitute. But the purpose of these masks or hacking a mask is not to go out and buy a ton of other things, but to get similar results. And if you just use an oil that you have that maybe has roses in it, you're doing fine. You're going to get the same properties. We're leaving the mask on for 15 minutes. I think this mask is gonna be good for any skin type. Rose oils, rose essential oils tend to be the least irritating to skin when it comes to essential oils. We're using a, a teaspoon of our powdered ingredients. We're using yogurt. So all of these things are gonna be very soothing and very um, nourishing to I think any skin type. Let's hack this mask. So for the base of the mask, I'm gonna start with this pre-mixed Granola Goat Roses Are Red Dry Face Mask. It has pink clay in it as well as dried rose powder. Both of those things, I think this was a limited edition mask, both of those things could be picked up on Garden of Wisdom's website. I have a teaspoon of that dry face mask. I'm then gonna mix in a half a teaspoon of oat flour that's going to be our soothing ingredient. If you had a lot of time on your hands or if you were an absolute perfectionist, you could um, use a sift to sift these together better. I am not an absolute perfectionist. Next, I'm going to take some of this rose water. This is my favorite. It's basically just water that has some rose essential oils in it. I'm going to start by just getting the clay wet. If you've ever made face masks, you know that things can get too um, liquidy too quick, so I like to go slow with the liquid portion because we will be adding yogurt and oil into this, so I really don't want it to be too wet. Then I'm going to add a teaspoon of yogurt. That's going to give us the very creamy um, sense. You don't have to use 
you know, adding actual yogurt adds a lot of benefits, but you don't have to use a milk-based yogurt. You could use a vegan yogurt. Then I'm going to take some, this is an, a sample of Osmio Organics Vital Rose Drops, so I'm going to add some of that in there. This will add some rose scent to it, as well as an added extra hydrating properties. So now we're going to stick that in the fridge. So here we are in one of my favorite times of videos, and that's when we're doing an extreme close-up, and you get to see my skin in all its glory. We're going to go ahead and apply the mask. I like to spray on a little bit of this rose water. Um, I like to spray like my face with a toner anytime I'm putting on a mask. That way I'm not doing any tugging. Here's what the texture of the mask looks like after you pull it out of the fridge. Very similar to the texture of the Lush masks. I don't have my fancy brush today, I'm just going to be applying with my hands. Um, you know, we're going to make more mask than we essentially need. I do not recommend um, storing this and trying to use it later um, because of the clay. Clay is dirt. Clay came from the earth. Uh, you don't want it to be sitting in there with yogurt and oils. You know, you just have, you, you run the risk of bacteria growth. So just titrate it down. If you only need a half a teaspoon, you only need a half a teaspoon. We obviously made quite a bit. You could keep layering it on thicker, depending if you wanted to. So leave the mask on for about 15 to 20 minutes. Just FYI, when you use oat flour in your face mask, it does get a little gritty uh, towards the end because it's like oatmeal. So you will want to use a cloth to just take off any remaining uh, residue that you have. After you're done, your skin is going to feel so good. The clay, the yogurt, the oats, the little bits of oil, the toner, um, it just comes together beautifully to leave your skin very balanced and happy after you're done. So, hope you guys enjoyed this Hackett edition, and I'll see you next time. Bye!